Nervosity to Patrol is my name, so I've said it too many times. Send it in the Rosky to Patrol. Okay, number 30 on the calendar is CR 0040223. Naya Nervosky to Patel. Tripitola. Okay, Tripitola. Yes. Okay. Thomas wants to help you out. So, Danny, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Counsel. And, Your Honor, we are uh, filing and serving a copy of a SMI today, a superseding misdemeanor information, reducing this case to a misdemeanor from a felony. Um, you I have do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counts. Yes, the new oh, misdemeanor, superseding misdemeanor information has seven total counts in it as well. I do need to have one extra copy made. I think they only provided two copies, so I have to get a copy. I Can you ask to update information for myself I'm about my case? No Copies. Longer, I'm not going to be your attorney anymore. Oh, cool. Okay. I will have an attorney though. Yes. Okay. Because they're reducing to a misdemeanor. I don't. We don't handle misdemeanors. Well, that sounds pretty good, right? That's good. Yeah. Okay. Who is our duty to this? I am your duty. Yes. Stand in. Your Honor, I'm asking that we be relieved. I'm sorry. The people have filed what's called a superseding misdemeanor information, reducing the felony charges to, against you to seven counts misdemeanor charges. Um, so the felony charges are hereby dismissed. Now you have answer to the misdemeanor charges. Now, Mr. Montella, on legal aid, represented you on the felony charge does not represent on the misdemeanor charges. I'm going to sign Mr. Harnick, who will represent you on the misdemeanor uh, information. But before I do that, I need you to consent and live confidentiality so that Mr. Montella from Legal Aid can transfer your files to Mr. Harnick. Okay. So he can represent you on the misdemeanor uh, information. Do you consent and live confidentiality? Yes, I do, sir. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mr. Uh, Martel, you are relieved. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Harnick, sure, you're assigned, and now we need to arraign uh, her on the uh, misdemeanor information. Judge, so before I do the arraignment, I believe my client has a question. Yes, sir. I was wondering, is it any way that the, the courts of Mount Vernon, is there any way that can conduct some form of a background check on my behalf? As I explained to you, my title in the city, and I'm going to keep going over, I know it's annoying for you to keep hearing, but if I can establish some form of proof on paper, maybe things wouldn't be going so terribly what, what for me, the, sir. What is, what is the, what, the title you said? Yes, uh, uh, Senator Narosky Tripatola of Mount Vernon, New York, purchased 2021, sir. You're they a took, senator. Yes, sir. They took my ID. It's in the police department. They say it's not there. That's another story. But that's the only reason why I'm getting treated like a regular civilian. They got my ID. I can't replace it with the same info. The DMV keeps sending me stuff from when I was in college, sir. I am homeless. You evicted my mother from my own property, gave it to my insurance company. I 
I own the land. Somebody has to talk to me. I'm tired of sleeping at that cot. Those women at that shelter are out of their minds. They don't have no respect. And I'm getting treated terribly. And I work too hard in this city. Okay? Right. Last time I was in here, 2023, I was acting terrible. I fixed my life, sir. Why am I getting treated terribly? I can't even use my psychology degree. Doesn't nobody believe I'm a doctor sleeping on a cot in a shelter? I'm four months pregnant. I keep saying these things. I'm being treated terribly. I didn't do anything to my colleagues in City Hall. They acting crazy. She getting awards and stuff like that. It's my personal signature on Mayor Sean Patterson Howard's employment contract, sir. I hired her. I overlooked her credentials. We have an excellent mayor because of me. And everyone treats me bad. I'm, I'm not gonna keep saying it. I'm done crying about it. I'm done being angry. But I'm gonna keep telling the truth. I didn't do anything. Okay, you finished? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. Judge, Judge, at this time I'll acknowledge receipt of a purported superseding misdemeanor information. I say purported because it's not a it's not a full information. I don't have any owner's depositions indicating who owns these vehicles. I don't have a supporting deposition indicating what actually occurred here. This is uh, mere allegations. I'll also acknowledge receipt of a 25020 notice. And okay, Your Honor, they've already previously been filed as part of the felony complaint, but I'm providing I know counsel's new to the case, so I'm providing a copy right now of the uh, alibi notice demand, which is previously uh, file and serve, which is a 220 notice, and then there is also, I believe there are four owner's depositions. Four owner's depositions. Judge, I'll acknowledge receipt of the 250 notice, acknowledge receipt of four owner's depositions, which I'm assuming makes four of these seven accounts properly converted. The other three would still not be properly converted. I also don't acknowledge any receipt of any supporting depositions or anything to establish what actually happened beyond what's in these bare bone allegations, to which people are not personally uh, were not personally aware of the facts of the draft. Yeah, so this is this is not a perfected information. This is a complaint. The people have a COC. We do not have a COC at this time, Your Honor. We requested to reach, and we are um, we are requesting that the that the court assign Mahadi. Okay. All right. Uh, I agree. Mahadi is assigned. What is Mahadi? He will. He will. Uh, just a minute. Um, this is an ROR. We're going to be releasing him on the cognizant. I was there already released. Order protection, right? Which he violated by assaulting me. What is Mahadi? All right. Hold on. The order of protection well, is for mental health services. Absolutely not, sir. They've been harassing me the entire time. I'm not going along with that. They've been harassing me. You don't take my, you don't lure me out of my home in Manhattan to Mount Vernon, arrest me, take my ID, and then put me on mental health. That's how it went. Well, it's not to put you on mental health. I'm not agreeing with you, sir. Look, They've on. been doing it too long. Hold on a minute. You're going to explain to you how it works. When I speak, you are going to be quiet. Yes, sir. And listen. Yes. Okay, I'm giving you the respect for listening to me. Yes, sir. You're going to respect this court, okay? All right. Mahadi's Mental Health Services, which the court can assign, and I am doing that today. Now, if you don't comply with the assignment, there will be consequences to that. Yes, sir. Okay? All right. Now, there is also, um, there is an order of protection if there is a violation by the protected party, the party or Reported to the police department. It's already been reported. You reported it. Mr. Voucher? It was uh, spoken about the last court case. Okay, I will yeah. make it. I will make it. All right. Uh, but the order of protection is over here, okay? Yes, sir. It continues. Yes. All right. You need a date. Judge, time the people keep the selection on date. Yes, Your Honor. We request three weeks. Any date that week that's good for counsel in the court. Uh, I believe the 17th would be the three weeks of the court. The 17th of, oh, I'm sorry. That's, yes. So, I'm really put on the record that I'm not going to comply with any of that. May 17th. So it's not going to make it go oh. correctly. Okay. May 17th is already The only thing I need is an address, the phone number, and an email on the record. Okay. You need an address? I have none, sir. You, like I told you before, you evicted us from my own property in favor of my insurance company. That's where I was laying my head. You can right. send my mail well, there. I, now, any shelter they won't put me out of, to be honest. Okay, and that's wait, crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me ask you this way. What was the most recent shelter? The most recent was uh, Grasslands, Grass but Grass. they told me I had to leave because I got into an altercation. That was assaulted. Okay, what about a phone number? You have a phone Yes, yes, I do. All right, let's give us a phone. 347 849 8699. You have an email? I do not disclose my email, sir. 
5.17 at 9.30 is the next court date. Go to window 6. They'll give you paperwork. Okay. Can, I, can they give me something setting I was here today? Sure. Okay. Of course. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. I need to catch you. Thank 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 you. Thank